In this excerpt from the five hour video, Pool's Biggest Secrets Revealed 3, Pattern Play, I'll show you some shots you can try when it's a do or die situation. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here's the first do or die shot. These are shots to try when you don't have any other options. Okay, we're playing a game of eight ball and we're shooting the eight, but we don't have a good offensive shot. See if you can figure out a way to pocket the eight ball and win the game. And here's a hint. We're gonna pocket the eight ball without touching any of the stripes. Okay, this is a shot that's pretty difficult, but at least it gives you a chance to win the game. So I'm gonna call the lower left corner pocket. I'm gonna shoot the eight ball and hold my cue ball where it is so the eight ball can carry him off it. And the great thing about this shot is that even if you miss the shot, you may still block the pocket for your opponent. Here's another version of this shot. In this version, the eight ball and cue ball are farther away from the corner. So in this situation, I have to draw the cue ball back and off the side rail so the eight ball can carry him off it. In this last example, the cue ball and eight ball are pretty far away from the corner pocket. See if you can figure out another way to pocket the eight ball in one of the two corner pockets. Okay, so in this case, I need to follow the cue ball and time it out so the eight ball can carry him off the cue ball and go in the lower right corner pocket. In this situation, I'm no longer straight in on the eight ball, but if I can bank the eight into the nine ball, it may carry him into the corner pocket. This shot comes up every once in a while, so it's a good shot to know just in case. Here I'm playing eight ball and I'm on the eight, but I left myself in the jaws of the pocket so I can't see the eight ball. In this situation, I would aim toward the point of the pocket with center high. And this will send the cue ball toward the other corner pocket. This is a worthwhile shot to practice because this situation does come up every once in a while. And it at least gives you a chance to hit the ball and sometimes pocket it. And it even works along the length of the table, although this is much more difficult. In this situation, I'm playing a game of nine ball and I'm on the two ball. The problem is that when I shoot the two ball, the cue ball will run into the seven ball, leaving me tough on the three ball, which is at the other end of the table. But since my cue ball will be striking the seven ball immediately after hitting the two, I can use the seven ball to carry the cue ball to the side rail and down to the other end of the table and I was shooting the two ball with low right. So when the cue ball strikes the side rail, the right hand spin will help bring the cue ball back to this end rail. Here's another example of playing position off a ball. I'm playing eight ball and I'm on my last ball. The problem is that the eight ball is next to the top end rail, so position on it will be difficult. But next to the one ball is the 13 ball. And since the cue ball will be running into the 13 ball after pocketing the one, I can use that to my advantage. If I can strike the one ball with low right, the spin and draw will bring the cue ball back for shaping the eight ball after striking the 13. And if you're ever confused about what spin to use, later in this video I'm going to show you an easy way to figure out if you need to use left or right spin. In the final example, I'm playing eight ball and I'm on the one ball, but I have to bring the cue ball all the way back to this end rail for position on the eight. And when I pocket the one ball, it looks like I'll be running into the nine ball, which means I can use the nine ball like a rail. So when I shoot the one ball, I'll use a power draw stroke to bring the cue ball off the side rail for shape on the eight ball. Here's another do or die shot. I left myself here on the eight ball and it doesn't look like I have a pocket for it. See if you can figure out which pocket I made the eight ball in. This shot actually comes up every once in a while and it's a great shot to know when there are no other options. If we look at the one ball, it's at a pretty good spot along the side rail for me to carry the eight off it. If I can shoot the eight ball into the rail right next to the one ball, it should carry him off it and head to the corner pocket. And here's the shot again in slow motion. And we can see the eight ball striking the rail just prior to hitting the one ball. And that sends it toward the corner pocket. Here's another situation where I'm going to shoot the eight into the rail and off an object ball to try and pocket it in the side pocket. So in this case, the eight ball path would go in this direction off the four ball toward the side pocket. And with a little practice, you should begin to develop a feel for this shot. It's all about recognizing where you need to strike the rail at to get the correct carom off the object ball.